Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about the bedbug season. And it's all based upon a report that I recently put together on the seasonal increase in bedbug activity. And what I wanted to do with this study is put some proof behind a lot of the things that experts have been saying for many years now, which is that during the summer months, particularly July through September, bed bugs increase in activity and the calls that a pest control company gets about bed bugs increase as well. And so what I did in the study is that from around January 2008 all the way through May 2012, I had pest control companies from a couple different areas in the country report their monthly bed bug initial services. And so all the way from January 2008, the company would look at how many calls they got and go month by month all the way through May 2012. And basically what I did then is looked at, you know, from month to month what the trend was to see if there was any significance in regards to that data and whether or not there was a peak or an increase in calls in those summer months. And the reason why I had companies from all over the country do this is that I wanted to make sure it wasn't just something that we saw, say, here in the New York, New Jersey metro area where I'm at. You know, is it the same trend in Minnesota and Seattle and Florida and Tennessee and Maine? And, you know, you want to get a good cross-section of the entire country. And so what we quickly saw in the study is, yes, it does appear that there is a seasonal influence in regards to bed bug activity. Now... This, I don't want to say here in position as the first time this has ever been done, because that's not true. There was a study done in 1941 by a, a researcher in Britain who did in fact show there was a seasonal increase in bed bug activity in the warmer months. The, the issue is that this was a long time ago. 1941 was, you know, over, what, 60 years now, I think? And... That's quite a long time ago. And since then, structure has changed dramatically. You know, we have firewalls between units now. We have electrical conduits to go from unit to unit. Not to mention that, you know, the structure in Britain is much different than the structure that's here in the United States. It's much, much older. And all of those things can influence bed bug movement from one unit to another. And so I wanted to put data together on, you know, the current situation in the United States and whether or not that trend does exist. And what we showed is that it definitely, in fact, does. Um, we saw a significant peak in bed bug activity in July, August, and September. And that does appear to be the season of bed bugs or the bed bug season or whatever you want to call it. Now, I don't want to sit here, though, and have people think that that's the time when you'll see it always increase. We also categorize June and October as high-risk months. Some seasons, we would see that increase start in June instead of July, and other years, we would see it flow over into October instead of ending in September or start to come back down in September. And so really, June through October is the busy time, and more specifically, July through September. Now, in regards to that information, you know, people always ask, well, what's the cause of that? And there could be a lot of different things that play a role, but one of the most important things is most likely the temperature inside people's homes. Obviously, during those months, it's summer outside. And, you know, when the temperature is warmer, these bugs can reproduce much faster. Now, the study that I referenced before that was done in 1941, in that dissertation, they also talked about bed bug development. And this is a pretty crazy number. So... At 64 degrees Fahrenheit, this paper found that bed bugs can go from an egg to an adult in about 66 days, so just over two months. And 64 degrees is probably close to what somebody's house is during the winter months, maybe 66, 64, 68, somewhere in that range. Now, at 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which in apartments or homes that maybe don't have air conditioning in the summer, Bed bugs can reproduce from an egg, or I should say develop from an egg to an adult in just 14 days. And so that developmental time goes from 66 days to 14 days. That is dramatic in regards to how quick these bugs can reproduce, develop, and continue that life cycle. And so in the summer months, these bugs basically just go crazy. They start, you know, developing very fast, reproducing very fast, and the numbers can explode very, very quickly. And what we also see is that bed bugs will uh, increase their activity, meaning that they move around much more readily. Um, as the temperatures get warmer, they become much more active. And so that can also increase the spread, how often bed bugs are getting out of people's suitcases or backpacks or clothing items, and then being transferred from one location to another. Now, 
couple last notes, you know, I don't want anybody to think that this is just, that's only when bed bugs are active. Bed bugs are active year round. You can encounter them in January, February, March, all the other months. But that is typically when we see activity actually increase. And the other interesting thing to note with this study that I put together is that 2010 was really where we saw the highest peak in bed bug activity. And in 2011, we saw that peak come down a little bit, where there weren't nearly as many calls in 2011 in the summer versus 2010. And so the question starts to, you know, be stirred up with why? Was it a seasonal difference from 2010 to 2011? Was the summer of 2010 much more, you know, conducive to bed bugs? Or did the media, you know, frenzy in the summer of 2010 influence the public awareness of bed bugs? And since people were more aware, did they spread them much less often? All great questions that I don't necessarily have the answer to, but the summer of 2012, which I'm currently in the middle of, actually sweating in this office right now as I film this episode, um, will tell us a lot about what I think or the trend and direction that bed bugs are going. You know, will we see that peak start to come back up a little bit? Will it remain the same? Or will it continue to come back down? And uh, we'll probably reshoot this episode in a couple months and talk to you about what we found in the summer of 2012. All right, everybody, if you have any questions about the seasonal increase in the summer of bed bug activity or any other questions about bed bugs in general, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And I hope to see everybody soon enough.